everybody. It's Bob Boob, the real estate guy. All right, this dorky guy here is Bob Boob. Hey, this is a pretty neat uh, <clears throat> house we're going to look at together here. I'm at 355 Locust Street here in Jersey Shore. So here I'm looking west on Locust Street. So there's where the middle school is and the Locust Street Elementary School. Now here I'm starting to turn north. And right over there, if you could look through all these houses there, if I had Superman X-ray vision, you would see like the public pool area and the public park area. Now here I'm looking east towards downtown Jersey Shore. But really... Really nice house here. Big two-story. Looks like it's got a newer architectural style shingle on there. Big lot, people. Like this is, I think it's just shy of three quarters of an acre. I think it was like 0.69 or something. So look at this. This is ginormous here. Um, I don't know if you can see here. There's a central air. So there's the outside unit for that. Gives you an idea here of how big the property is. And you can see there's a shed out there above ground pool and again looks like their garden area in the back the tomatoes are good i have to get some of those but really really nice now let me show you over here now if you have any questions on financing because this house is in pretty good condition so it really should qualify for all the major government loans that are out there see this so it's corner lot here's an alley Oh man, I'm forgetting what they call this alley. But anyhow, you have lots of off-street parking here. And again, I think from a practical standpoint, <coughs> like I'm parked with my super cool, awesome soccer mom minivan out front there. But I think normally you just pull in here, go in the side door. I'm going to take you in the front door, but big, big yard. Okay, and now, oh, here's the electric service. 200 amp electric service coming into the house. Okay, you guys excited? I'm going to go ahead and take a look around. But what I started to say is there's a lot of financing programs out there. As of the recording here, there was one that had an interest rate of like 5.65. I had a nice porch just to sit and relax on. Yeah, that's right, 5.65. Or wait, 5.625. Five and, what is that, five eights then? And when we first walk in, I'm thinking what happened here... This would have been like a living room area, but somebody added the wall through the years. Because now what you end up with is a really nice size first floor laundry. Gosh, double freezer here. Should we see what's in there? No, I better not. That'd be a nosy, huh? But this is a really nice air area. Oh my gosh, I'm jealous of that drying rack right there. Wow, that's huge. Okay, focus, Bob, focus. We're on a video tour here. So you can see as we're walking through here, this would be like, like a den. You can see she uses it as a sewing room, the current owner. All right, let's see here. And then we come in here. Now, big living room. Let's see here. You're probably, oh gosh, guys, 6, 12. You got to be 16, 18 feet across there. And here's that side door. So if you were what I was talking about earlier there, where you would come in from that parking area out there see that so this would be kind of where you'd on a daily basis i think you'd come in and then coming across here you're probably geez another 18 foot this is a big big living room area so let's see here you know what over there's the dungeon hold on guys let's walk downstairs in the basement we'll take a look around but nice size pantry right here as they see coming down the basement hold on okay i'm back i was like try to check for spiders real quick before i Turn on the camera. I don't want you to hear me scream like a schoolgirl. Okay, so a lot going on down here. So you've got stone foundation, um, probably built early 1900s. Looks like somebody's come through. There's extra supports here on the, the beam. We have a forced hot air oil system. Hiding back there in the corner. I don't know if you can see that ding, 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 ding. That's where your electric hot water heater is. They have a insulation blanket on that to make that more efficient. Of course, you have concrete floor. Lots of storage shelves down here. Now, I'm not sure if the shelves are staying or not, but hey, there's some canned goods. Oh, there's some Seagrams. All right, I might have to stop back here after I'm done with the video tour. But here you can see they have a sub pump here. Looks like they have a dehumidifier. Um, nice little workshop area here. Jerry's the name of the owner, so looks like he's got some tools down here. I suppose his wife could too, but I'm not sure. Double oil tank. So you get two oil tanks so you can fill up when oil's least expensive possible. What else can I show you down here? 
this is just a you know traditional older older basement but very well cared for home these owners have been here a while and yeah they really take care of everything nicely all right i haven't seen any spiders but i'm not going to push my luck so let's get out of here all right hold on guys be right back we're going back upstairs okay i jumped on you went all the way from the basement up to the second floor so here's the steps you come up from downstairs here you get a little look from above of the side yard here so this is on the west side of the house and uh so here's bedroom number one nice nice bedroom big bed in here lots of space it's like kind of an open closet there so this is really really nice oh there's another closet we got two closets in this in this bedroom now as we continue on okay so this will take us down to the bathroom we'll go we'll go this way so we continue on down here's another bedroom again decent size bedrooms yeah look at that you can actually see the floor can't really see the floor in my own bedroom but it uh these people keep a nicer house than me but everybody keeps a nicer house than me and bedroom number three so again they always maintained a good house you can see see that by looking here now i guess something i should show you too let me see maybe i can just show you here on one of these windows here these are the double pane thermal windows and look at that uh -huh. flippy dippy windows that's right for easy cleaning so that's really nice oh now here's a feature almost walked past and didn't show you this is a hall closet right but look at this this is a huge hall closet so lots of space there they got a double rack there and area for shoes and whatnot but that looks uh, like a nice storage area all right i keep stopping to start talking about the financing but okay so 5.625 was one of the programs one of the other programs guys was uh one that will actually cover your closing costs for you and if you stay in the house for so long you don't even have to pay it back that's exactly right so here we have a shower some good looking goofy guy follow us around the video tour there's the throne outside look now see this door right here that'll take us up the attic let's peek up there real quick okay so now i'm up here in the attic area now this is an interesting space because this has been like semi-finished off there's heat up here lots of outlets they put up knee walls here but look what they did too they added there's lighting so you have lots of storage there in the side walls over here a nice closet area here you have a couple windows so this way we're looking south or towards the back backyard so this is a nice area i suppose if you needed a guest room area or an area for my mom used to have what it was called a craft room i don't know if people still do those or not she would do her crafts in there i thought it was her crap room c-r-a-p but apparently it was her craft c-r-a-f-t room and uh i'd get in trouble when i called it her crap room don't tell my mom that okay now we come back here so now we're towards the front of the house now this is more of an unfinished attic area for just traditional storage you can see they have some odds and ends here got some insulation up there and then this is a nice see this door here so if you got a kid you don't like this could be their bedroom um but no this is more storage and again they have it i don't think that's cedar i think that's pine but they have it finished off nicely so you can do some more storage there but very nice for extra storage and or maybe if you just need a little bit more living space sorry if i'm spinning too fast giving you guys vertigo there take a look at that room okay let's go downstairs again be right back guys okay so now we're back downstairs getting a different angle here of the living room but one feature i didn't want to miss showing you here see downstairs here you have a full bathroom so there's the throne big shower sneak in a little sink there with a getting that really good looking goofy guy following us around this is the side yard that pool will be nice on the hot days huh okay so that was the front of the house that's south that uh, laundry room area on the first floor and uh den area i'll call it we got this here that's where i went down into the basement here's the side or the east side of the house now check this out we walk into a beautiful big kitchen area isn't this nice I double check if the appliances are included um so i won't say for sure here on the video but i have to double check 
Uh, Lara Lenart, super cool, awesome Lara Lenart is the listing agent. Dishwasher's built in, so of course that'll stay. But isn't this nice? You know, big kitchen sink, looking towards the west, so you have good afternoon sun coming in here. Now I'm going to be a little quiet here. See the big deck? Yeah, I'm being quiet because see the dog out there. I don't want to make the dog bark. But there, you see the big yard and the shed. And it's a beautiful spot out there. Okay. There's a spin around here. Nice dining area. Oh, the nice Hoosier cabinet. That's not included. But this one over is, this one here is, this is built in. Look how nice how they did it with the, the oat. I was just trying to find the, oh, I gotta find the snacks here. Oh, there is some Swedish, Swedish fish. So, I got Swedish fish and I got some Seagrams down there. In the basement that I can get to later. But isn't this a beautiful kitchen, guys? This really is. Okay. Oh, oh, oh I think oh, the dog just heard me. All right. So if you have questions on financing, because as I mentioned earlier, kind of bouncing back and forth, there's some low rates or some programs that help you with your closing costs. Maybe if you have a house that you need to sell in order to buy, uh, talk to us about that. We can help you figure that out because there's ways to do that. And uh, if you have any real estate questions at all, you know, give Larry Lenarn a call. I'll have her number here somewhere at the top and bottom of the screen. Or, yeah, I think that's it. So I showed you basement. Yep, I guess I got you everything. Guys, thank you for watching the video tour. Have a great day. It was nice hanging out with you a little bit. Bye-bye.